All right, and welcome back. This is episode four. Episode four of Survivor. Too many. Yeah, too many. <laughs> and we have a special uh, edition of Survivor this week because Carl did 20 blogs on Wednesday. So we have a new rule with Survivor. If someone other than me outposts the group, that person is allowed to add essentially almost any name he wants to the list. So quickly, I'm going to give the names that are on the list, the reasons why they're on the list, and then Carl will add his name to the list. First name here is Evan Kinsey. Now, technically, he does his one blog per week, but I don't think that's really good enough. But the reason why he's on the survivor list this week is because I did not realize how stupid this kid was. (laughs) I put a thing, as I always do, I drop things in the channels. And uh, Mike Florio decided to write a blog on uh, Cole Beasley was trying to get himself cut because he wasn't going to get vaccinated. Evan Kinsey took that blog seriously and decided that, yes, Cole Beasley is intentionally trying to get himself cut and wrote it as he was seriously trying to get himself cut. So this man is so dumb that he is on the list. Second name on the list is Guillermo Pinto. Uh, This man is Milo's friend who has not shown up to Survivor, but whatever. Uh, This man is tasked with creating MLB shorts. Uh, As many of you know, only one has gotten done and it was comically bad, but uh, he has not tried to do any since. Uh, Michael Bronner. Michael Bronner's done a total of like three, four posts, but I have not heard from him in like a month, two months. He's technically an intern not doing it for college credits or otherwise he would have been fired. Uh, he will be fired at the end of the month. So you guys could technically decide to end his tenure early, but he's, he's on the list anyway. Uh, same goes for Owen Hill. You guys can basically decide to fire him early. He is a high school student. That's done a total of zero posts, not doing it for college credits. So Otherwise, he would have been fired already, but he will be fired at the end of the month. So, again, you guys can decide to just fire him early and save the rest of the group. Uh, next name on the list is Nick Apria. Now, I did give him time off, but I have not heard from him probably since May. So, he has not checked in with me at all. I did give him a break. He, he said, Trey, I need a break, which is fine. You guys can have a break. Have not included him on any of the survivor lists, but have not heard from him. And uh, I guess producer Alex did reach out to him. He did not respond to producer Alex. So that tells me he's just not on Slack anymore. Next name is a pretty funny name because I just called this kid out yesterday. Uh, This is Tanner Pike. And I got an email from Arizona state. How uh, by this point in the semester, Tanner Pike should have completed 65 hours of work. He's done a total of four posts. Uh, (laughs) He's done a total of four posts. So uh, I, this week I am giving Tanner Pike a chance. I'm giving him a uh, – Tanner Pike needs to do 20 posts during the entire week or he's automatically being fired. Okay, and the last name is uh, Nick Speaks, Nick Wilcox, uh, Alex Chick's favorite guy. Uh, he's, <laughs> he said he was going to do an NBA free agent post, has not gotten done. Said he was going to do something on Daryl Henderson, has not gotten done. Uh, he did show up to a live stream, but it was horrible. Uh, did not show up to Chickster's fantasy show. You guys know the story on that. So, uh, any, uh, this is the guy that, uh, said Conor McGregor broke his leg on purpose. Nicholas speaks. He types in random, call me dumb, but I think Conor McGregor broke his leg on purpose. He thought yeah. that this man had a clean break of his leg and he did it on purpose. Uh, Anthony, you think someone can break their leg on purpose? Uh, I would think that the amount of incredible skill you would have to be able to possess to do that. Why not just win the fight, bro? There ain't no like. It, it, it's it's like so stupid for me to like even sit here and say no. Conor McGregor did not break his leg on purpose. Okay. Hottest take of the year. But there's a difference between hot and stupid. I don't think someone can just break their leg on command. Okay, so those are the names on the list for this week. Now, I will send this over to Carl, who uh, has cleared the name with me. He gets to decide who he wants to add to the list. I want to give a little bit of a hint. 
Emma Brown's going to be very happy with this selection. I know who I'm voting for. Yeah. I don't know what this person has done to deserve to be taken off the list. Okay. Because they were on the list at one point and then didn't do anything and are somehow not on the list. So I'm putting Nicole back on the list. 100%. The reason why I took her off is because the whole reason why people are on the list is because they don't communicate with me. Nicole has somewhat been communicating with me. She does send me messages. Not like before, she just didn't talk to me. Now she has been sending me messages. The last message I pretty much got from Nicole was pretty much saying how uh, she did, she's not getting a thrill out of just posting on social media. She misses being in an office and it's affecting her work performance, basically. So how do we want to... I, I technically said I would Wait, give... Can you just like say the names that are going to be gone at the end of the month anyway? Just to recap those? Yes. Uh, Owen Hill and Michael Bronner are automatically being fired at the end of the month. So you guys can basically decide, hey, we'll salvage the rest of the group. Pack your bags early. These kids can just leave early. That would be the nice approach. Or the we sal- maximize or we our or we or we maximize the impact and then we take out someone else and then those guys are gone. Which is the approach I, I considered you savages would probably go, but <laughs> 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 so carl how do where's you want the to... fun? where's the fun in voting someone off who's already carl how do you want to do this because i technically said you could decide when you want to vote i'll vote at the end you vote at the end that's, that's i want to hear what other people have to say because i don't know that i'm 100 percent certain on who i'm going to vote for so fair enough uh max murphy could not be here tonight but he did send his vote in his vote is for nick wilcox so we have one <laughs> one vote for nick wilcox right out the gate uh, Andrew McGinnis has passed his vote. He decided not to do this. Just fine. He's a nice kid. Doesn't want to fire anybody. Uh, He's been here long enough. Have not heard from Milo. So he's the only one I technically just didn't hear from. Alex Cervantes is the newest guy here. He's making, he, he was here before. Couple survivors. Oh. Yep. I think the second survivor. <laughs> now, a- Alex, you were in communication with me of like, hey, are you going to be able to get enough post done? Because like, you know, I, I won't post Kareem so that you could have Survivor. So yes, <laughs> I did a couple extra posts to make sure that you could be here. So you're welcome. Wait, can, right, we, wait, hold on. can I just say one thing before we start? Thank you, Eric, for not ruining this. Oh, thank very true. Eric, yeah, thank, thank you, Eric, Eric for Eric not, for ruining, not yeah. ruining this. That's a good Eric point. Reynolds, MVP that's, of the night. That's a great point because Eric Reynolds did finish a post before 10 o'clock. I gave him the option. Did he want it published? No survivor or go out tomorrow? Survivor. Eric I was Reynolds. I on Eric Reynolds down. I told, I, I told him, like, dude, like, for your own safety, let's, uh, let's put this out tomorrow. Eric Reynolds was bullied into the decision of having Survivor, so his post he was bullied by me. Was, no, 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 don't put it that way. Don't put it that way. Put it as in we gave our opinion and he considered our input greatly when making his decision. Got it. And strongly. As my wash tan on display for everyone to see. So Alex Cervantes, you're the newest guy here. You did a post on uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar being the goat across all basketball. So do you want to yeah. talk about your post a little bit? I mean, sure. I mean, please give it a read. But I highlighted Kareem's the greatest high school player of all time. He's the greatest college basketball player of all time. And he's the top three NBA player of all time with a very good argument to be the goat in the NBA. And so if you hit even at least two of three in that regard, you're the greatest in basketball history. And not to be by, not like, to be biased, but you also wrote my favorite blog of the week, and that was your soccer education of Trey Daubert. I love oh, that yes. blog. So that was a comment. beautiful series. God's Cervantes. I, I, like, look, I you I I don't give people really credit. look forward to more like, of that. Like it almost pains me to give people compliments, but you're like awesome, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Cervantes, who are you voting for? Um, I know he's getting fired at the end of the month. But he was on the list the last time I was on. He hasn't done anything since, so it's it, and he hasn't done anything at all. He has the worst resume. It's Owen. So I know he's getting fired, and but still, like he, of everyone you mentioned, he hasn't written a single thing. Zero, so, zero blogs yeah. for Owen Hill. He actually no. doesn't even have a WordPress account because he has not met with me or Alex. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm no remorse over that. We've okay. tried to meet with him. We've messaged him a couple times. It just has not happened. So your votes for Owen Hill. So one vote for Owen Hill, 
one vote for Nick Wilcox. I think I think Emma Brown is technically next month on August 29th will be my one year at Vendetta Sports Media. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I think Carl's been here longer. So Emma Brown actually wrote the number one viewed post on the blog today. I did? Yeah. So do you want to talk about that? Views. It's okay. You were you number one viewed post on the blog today. Is it my vote? Well, do you want to talk about your blog for a second? Oh, I wrote about Logan, my, I think it's my U, it might be my O. He was drafted by the Montreal Canadiens last night in the first round of the NHL draft. And um, last month, he was accused of sexual assault in Sweden when he was playing last season. Um, And on the 20th, he requested not to be drafted because he didn't feel like he deserved it. And Montreal drafted him anyways. Um, And within minutes of them making the pick, they had a statement ready to go. Um, They knew exactly what they were doing. And if you haven't read it already, I encourage you to go read it because I could talk about it for hours and hours, um, but I won't because we have limited time. Yeah. Make Um, sure to read Emma Brown's post. Number one viewed post on the blog. You also are very excited to vote. I am so excited. (laughs) Oh my God. I have never been on Survivor because I just write on the days that Trey doesn't outpost people. I'm so excited. So who's your vote? Um, well, this is my list. (laughs) I think we all know who I'm voting for. I have not heard from Nicole since July 13th. Oh, you actually looked it up. Yeah, I did. That message that I sent you that was like, hi, this is my proof of life post. Um, that was the last day that I heard from her. Um, and like the last time she was on Survivor, Alex Chick, like saved her. He voted for whoever got fired that time. And she was the other one. Um, and then like 20 minutes later, she went into the group chat and was yelling at everyone, including Alex, even though she had disappeared for like two months and expected some kind of authority after she's not done jack shit. So Nicole, if you're seeing this, <gasps> sorry, you seem wonderful, but. Emma Brown, gonna... Emma Brown is not your friend. <laughs> that is the only everyone. thing clear. And then I believe Carl is, or no, no, Carl decided he wanted to vote at the end so we have scott up now scott you technically did not wrote, write a post but i gave you a post because i want you fuckers to start streaming shit because we're actually making jackson how much money have we made on there by the way can you just chime in with that quick do you know with how much money we've made yeah oh it's like it's it's been like a 100 bucks this month from twitch and then, and then next we, month is starting when we got into the uh and then and then we've got we're we got accepted into the the sports program. So that starts next month. So that's going to like almost double if not triple the income that we get from from Twitch because of our sports streams. So a few hundred dollars we're going to make from Twitch. So uh Scott for streaming has been added to uh the I guess the vote. So uh Scott this was also supposed to be like my day of like not doing shit because I messaged you like this morning, like, hey, this weekend I'm gone golfing. Go, went golfing speaking, with my speaking, of, speaking of that, Scott, how many times do you message me? A lot. <laughs> like how many? Um, probably enough to be considered annoying. Why? Quite a bit. Like whenever I'm not just, get, I'm not going to be around to post. I'm like, hey, I'm not around Wednesday, when Carl went Super Saiyan, I'm like, I'm working from 8.30 in the morning to 7 p.m. at night. I am not around that day. And stuff like this weekend, where like tomorrow I have a flag football tournament, just like, hey, not going to be around. Pretty easy. And today was like one of those days where it's like, hey, you know, I'm studying the playbook. I actually just bought a guitar a few hours ago, and I'm learning how to play the guitar. Hmm. Like, this was my day of like, look, Trey, I'm, I've, I'm doing other stuff. I won't be around. But uh, <laughs> Scott, who are you voting for? I have one question. Have you heard anything from Tanner Pike recently or no? I tagged this kid in the intern chat maybe four or five, six times with the screenshot of the email sent from Arizona State being like, hey, Tanner Pike, you're supposed to have 65 hours done. Looked on the po- on the site. He did four posts. So, uh, yeah, I tagged this kid relentlessly. I tagged Krieg's Corner, who's supposed to be checking the timesheets. I tagged Kane Lander. I tagged everybody it, who's ever in the intern chat. But you just, like, haven't heard shit from him. Well, he did respond. He did respond. I can read you the quote if you want. And, and the date, too. Well, that was yesterday, so. 
Ah, okay. Uh, I'll be better. I promise. There's no excuses. Just finishing work this week. I'm trying to finish my degree. I'll get 10 posts done next week or whatever number you want. If not, you can fire me. Interesting comment. Uh, <laughs> and then he says, I Intriguing. didn't. And then I, he says, I didn't say I completed 65 hours. That's just what they were expecting at this point. <laughs> and then it, his final comment was, I want to be part of this company. Let me know how the timesheet works and I will fix it. If I lose points from not completing all the hours, I'll live with it. How the timesheet works, sir. We are almost at the end of summer. Also, the timesheet isn't hard. Like as an intern, it's <laughs> the day, the amount of minutes you spent linked to what you posted. Outside of guy who thinks McGregor broke his leg on purpose, he is by far the funniest ad. Well, I'm voting for him. <laughs> One, he's done jack shit. But two, I can't find this DM from him. I don't know if he deleted it, but I can't find it. It was basically him asking me like, hey, dude. Um, I well, that's actually a funny something. story. Can, can I cut you off? Oh, yeah, you, you go first, you go first, you go first. Yeah, go first. because uh, Tanner Pike messaged me. He says, uh, I have an assignment. My, my assignment is to interview someone in the media world. I was like, all right, uh, I'll figure out a time or whatever. He's like, well, can you do it today? I was like, uh, uh i'm kind of kind of doing something right now he's like well i need to have it done by today it's like buddy you that sounds like a you problem you can't give me two hours notice here man <laughs> like so hey, that's my reason for voting for him because he sent me basically that same message i can't find the dm anymore but he sent me that same slack message on wednesday i don't wait i don't know if it was wednesday it might have been wednesday it might have been like tuesday or thursday where i have other stuff going on and it's like and it's like, dude, like, um, <laughs> at least I have a give lot me of stuff for hour notice. Like, at know? least give me like a day. <laughs> like, at least give me like a day. At least gotta have it done like, now, oh, though. Yeah, it's like, you know, you have time he, to like. Uh, that he that tells dumb. me a lot about how that, he manages time. I don't know the kind the of kids that get into Arizona State, but that kid is dumb. The kids that barely graduate high school are the ones that they get into Arizona State. Hey, I have a friend going to Arizona State. That's now, <laughs> now, Scott. But, you can only imagine how angry I was to find out the news that Cam Akers tore his Achilles. Tanner Pike had the audacity to be like, oh, looks like I jinxed the injury. Was just going to write something on Daryl Henderson. I, I really, you know, I really, I'm not going to say. You're not helping yourself there, but you're not doing yourself any favors. Yeah. You're not doing yourself any favors. Yeah, I really, I, he, he grinded my gears. Let's just say that. Well, he's my vote. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, long roundabout way he's my boss great so this is interesting so we have one vote for nick wilcox one vote for owen hill one vote for nicole overton and one vote for tanner pike carl has requested to vote last so jackson law it is your turn you got a vote uh jackson law gets a vote because he did a video on the Giannis challenge he ate 50 well he ate 38 chick-fil-a nuggets I tried, dude. I tried to get to 50. It's impossible. So, so greasy and just, oh. How do you feel today? I was, it was awful. I was, t- I was telling, I was telling Trey before this, like, I'm still feeling from it. So as for who I'm voting for, it's really down to two people. And I would love to, cause um, it's, I'll tell you who it's between. It's between Nicole and Wilcox. Those are the two that it's down to for me and I think I've made up my mind and like I would love to help Emma out with this and also show her that you know not all redheads are bad you know some of us are good guys um see from the way that I see you right now you look blonde so it's okay (laughs) some redheads are nice people um but I I, okay yeah I am as and the the other one obviously was Wilcox he has survived almost every single one of these and I, and I don't understand how, but it's like also both of these people have spurned the chickster for like no reason whatsoever. And so I well, time out, think time I'm going to have quick. to go. Time out, time out real quick. Who do you think yeah. the chickster hates more? I think it's Wilcox that he hates more. I would probably, I would probably agree, but I don't know for certain. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be on it next time. So I'm going to cast my vote for Nicole. Okay. So Carl Heiser has a chance to end it. 
he can either yeah. make me decide by voting mm-hmm. for Nick Wilcox, Owen Hill, or Tanner Pike, or Carl can end it now by voting for the person he added to the list, and that would be Nicole. So Carl gets a vote for uh, outposting the group. He did tw- 20 in a day. So, uh, Carl, I'll send it over to you. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, I said this, I think, when we thought we were going to do The Last Survivor. There's no way I'm voting for Nick Wilcox. Um, <laughs> there's, there's no way. Wow. Because as far as – so, like, everyone on this list, like, hasn't done anything. But of the people who's done anything – He's been here the least amount of time. So, like, the amount of nothing he's done has been less than these other people. Um, and while he, he does act, have two drafts, does have he, two drafts. And he has two drafts, and he is the dumbest take of all time. And so for that, I'm going to keep him around because we've all, we've all had bad takes. Maybe they weren't the worst take of all time, but, like, I don't know. We should keep I want to be a little bit – I want to be a little bit – understanding there uh a yeah, little bit Nicole, understanding to the guy that said mcgregor broke his leg on purpose a little well bit i don't understand that. that i understand having <laughs> bad takes and having to fall on your sword for them but uh i'm voting nicole um it really rubbed me the wrong way when she came in the group chat like all high and mighty about like i get having two other jobs but you don't get to big league us for that like we all have other jobs like no one's making full-time money off of this um and you don't come for my guy, Alex Chick, like that. We're just, that's not how this is going to work. Um, so, yeah, that's my vote. Nicole's my vote. This was the Carl Heiser episode. He added Nicole to the list and then he sent Nicole <laughs> home from the list. So this is this is the Carl Heiser episode. All right. If we're gonna remember it that way, that I guess that's fine. <laughs> you I mean you added her to the list and then you took her out of the, the, the company. So I mean Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. I mean, she kind of took herself out of the company, if we're being honest. But... Well, all all of these people have, but yeah. I was a little at least surprised. Tanner, at least Tanner Pike. I respect Tanner Pike a lot for saying he wants to be here because some of these other people seem like they don't want to be here. Fair. Fair. I think the right person got voted off. Well, obviously I mean, you voted for her, so. Obviously. So, which is why I'm saying that. But, I mean, yeah, she's just disappeared. From what it sounds like from Emma, she's done really nothing, if anything at all. Um, and then, you know, Pop's in the chat and just starts popping off on people and you know yeah i mean you know also to reiterate what carl said and it's like we've all got busy lives outside of this this isn't full-time job for us yet really only one of us in here is on payroll um shout out emma but but yeah i mean it's just like i mean you gotta bounce i mean i've i also have a job i don't care too much for i've also got a one-year-old that I have to help take care of. And yet I still find time. I, I guess that's just me. I don't, I don't see why other people can't find time. All right. So uh, Nicole Overton is uh, out. I guess my final thing would be it's so easy to not be put on the list. She, this is a clear example of, Hey, uh, she wasn't on the list because all she did was literally send me like two messages. So think of the people that are on the list how incompetent they have to be to be on the list. The, Unless uh, someone goes beast mode and drops 20 posts in a day and then puts them <laughs> back on there. Well, I think the nail in the coffin was her just yelling at Chickster. I think that was what it was. This this wasn't a matter of being it's, on the it's, list. It's not just her yelling at Chickster because Chickster is the biggest, well, he's at least the defending shit talker of Vendetta. So obviously screaming matches are going to come from his interactions, but it's the way that she came off and the fact that she was gone That's and then the just point. randomly popped in. And, started and the fact that everyone. I'm the one who took over the Instagram when Emma was out for like a week and not her. 
Dixter has earned his shit talking rights. <laughs> work. Hey, Cole hasn't seen the work. It's not that hard to earn your shit talking rights. She has not. Look at Emma Brown. Emma Brown's in a position to lead people. You're leading the social media team. Anybody else we hire, you're in charge of. Okay. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where you don't even have to do anything. You're just going to tell people what to do. I don't really post that much on the Twitter anymore. I mostly just do the Instagram. Daniel is incredible. He did. He was in charge of the Twitter and the Facebook the day that Carl's 20 posts went out. I was at work all day. I had no idea that that many posts went out. Um, See? Yeah, so shout out to you, Daniel, for saving my ass more times than I can count. <laughs> and you got you got to vote today because you did a post. So I did. Out. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it. Episode four of Survivor. Nicole Overton is the victim this week.